Hey, hey everyone, this is Tara Lynn. I'm the artist behind Paint, Rinse, Repeat. And today we are painting these super cute bunny bombs. And this is a really easy painting, but it's a fun one. Um, and it's one that I like to pull out and do around Easter and springtime. Um, so what I have done here is I've transferred my little bunny into four areas of my painting. I just divided my canvas into fourths by dividing it in half and dividing it in half again. Um, you've got a few different sizes of bunny to choose from, um, depending on the size canvas you'd like to use. And then what I'm gonna do um, is pick four colors to paint the four different blocks. And those are gonna be the color that kind of pokes through around the edges of our bunny. Um, and then you need a sky color and a grass color. And so I've just gathered up some colors that I love that are bright, fun, springy. I've got magenta, orange, bright yellow, um, green, turquoise, light blue, purple, um, I've got an aqua color and some brown for the bunnies. Um, but the four colors I'm going to start with for my squares is uh, light magenta, orange, purple, and turquoise. And so I'm going to get those and add it on my plate here. I'm working with acrylics, so you're also going to want to have some water, some paint brushes, paper towels, the huge. All right, so I've got my four colors, and then what we're going to do is just paint each one of these four squares um, a background color. So I'm going to start with the upper left with my purple here. And as I do this, I'm also going to paint the edges of my canvas while I have the paint out. And this underpainting does not have to be super perfect because we're going to hide a lot of it, but I do want it to be nice and bold uh, where we've got the uh, outline of the bunny. And I am not real happy with the coverage that I'm getting from this purple paint that I've got. I noticed with one of my paint lessons that I did yesterday, which for you probably wasn't yesterday because this, I record at different times, but I, anyway, I noticed my coverage is kind of bad on that purple. I'm not real crazy about it. So I may do that one with two coats where usually most of my colors I don't have to do that. So I'm going to do purple in that top corner, turquoise down here in the bottom. You can, of course, put your colors wherever you want to.
I've just got one more color to go. I'm going to flip around my canvas just so I'm not putting my arm in paint. Right, so I've got my four corners all painted up. And the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and mute my mic. I'm gonna dry this so that I can add some layers on top.
All right, um, so next we are going to use some brown. We're gonna get these bunnies filled in. All right, brown and white are the next two colors I need. And I need far less brown than I need white. I need more white. I'm gonna say um, the mixture that I'm gonna use is probably close to, um, let's say, three parts white to one part brown. And I'm using burnt umber as my brown. But really, any tan or any light brown color will work just fine. So you just want to mix up kind of a light pastel bunny color. And then we're just going to paint these guys in. And this is our, our bunny undercoat. So we're just filling in these shapes right now. All right, this color that we ended up putting on here is going to be our mid-tone. And so I'm gonna pull some of this off to the side and then I'm gonna add more brown. Just darken it up a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do with this brown is just kind of add some fun shadow colors in there. Don't overthink it, just pull some swipes up into the ears. Maybe give the bottom of the head a little swoosh. We're just kind of tapping in variation. That's what we're going for here. I'm going to add a little bit on the bunny's back. And 
And we'll wipe off my brush. Now I've got some leftover of that mid-tone and I'm gonna mix some white in there. And really lighten that up. We're gonna use this light tone for the bunny tails. And so I'm gonna come in, I'm just gonna kind of make a cottony shape, a little wiggle and wave in there. And then in order to give the bunny body a little bit of shape and dimension, I'm just gonna kinda curve some of this lighter color around the sides of the body. And maybe just pull a little bit up in the ears. And then a little bit on the top of the head. We're not done with our bunnies. We're gonna add some fun little details in another step, but I'm gonna go ahead and let these bunnies dry. We're gonna do uh, the sky and the grass next. For the sky, I think most of my, I'm gonna use a light blue and I'm gonna use kind of this aqua color. So this is turquoise. This is a different color. I don't wanna use the same color because I don't wanna take away from the pop of that background, but I'm gonna get a little bit of this um, this is like a cerulean blue and this is aqua. And then of course we're going to lighten it. So I'm going to get some white. So I'm going to mix, let's say two parts white to one part aqua, one part blue. And I'm going to see if that's light enough. Yeah, I like that. All right. And it's okay if your white is not completely mixed in. Um, this actually looks pretty cute if it's not over blended. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start um, just a little bit higher than the tail. And I'm gonna push upward at different lengths. And that's where my grass is gonna start. And then up here, I'm gonna fill in this space very messily, but I'm not gonna go all the way to that ear in that bunny body. I just want a little hint of purple to kind of poke out around those edges. And then also poke out through a little bit of the, the background as well. I don't want full coverage. The reason for the undercoat is to let a little bit of that purple goodness peek through. you can make your sky as light or as colorful as you want it. I like to kind of mix in a little white and just vary the background. And then I just move from one bunny to the other and each time I'm going to kind of start down by the grass. Varying the height of that grass there.
gonna do the same thing for all four bunnies. And one thing I'm going to do while I've got this color mixed up, I'm fresh on the brain, and I, I did uh, run out, so I am mixing up just a pinch more. Um, this is not a new color. Is I'm going to add a little bit of this on the sides where I've got these edges. And again, totally okay to let some of that color pop through. That's the whole point of this painting is this beautiful, fun under painting that comes through in these little snippets and highlights. So just to give you an idea, that's what my sides look like there. And my top, I didn't do the bottom because down here it would be grass. So this is coming along. I'm kind of digging it. Next thing I'm going to do is get some green on my palette. And with this green, I'm going to pick my primary grass color. So I'm going to add a smidge of yellow to it. use of course any color you'd like for the grass right. once you get your grass color and I've got kind of a springy green going on uh, we're going to do a similar thing with the grass as we did with the sky. So I'm going to just start at the bottom and I'm going to paint upwards again. Um, I'm going to 
kind of go right up to that blue, but I'm okay if some of that purple shows through. This is not um, one of those paintings where you have to hide everything. And so I kind of want it to be a little grassy, but we are going to add blades of grass on top. So right now I'm kind of just filling in the shape and color. So you can see in each area, there's still that background color that peeks in through the, through the grass and areas. That's what we want. Alright, so I've got my green grass in all the sections. I'm going to switch back to the bunny and let that grass dry. We're going to add some details on this bunny. And so for that, I'm going to grab a small-ish round brush. And I'm going to go right into my brown. For these details, I'm going to start with brown and white. And so the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of add a little some little marks on these ears. Of course, what I do to one bunny, I'm gonna do to all of them. And then, marks around the body. And then I'm really going to get some wiggle around the tails. I want to kind of emphasize the fluffiness here.
I'm going to clean off my brush and then I'm going to go into some white. I'm just going to add a few details in white, so maybe a little wiggle or swish with the ear. On the head, there might be a little white highlight up there where the light's catching the bunny's head. And then we'll add some shape to the back. And then of course you want to emphasize the fluffiness of the white tail. Oops, I got some green in there. Once you've got the white highlights in there, um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go back to my colors and just make sure I've got that pop of color kind of around the edges of some of these. So if you lost some of the, the color when you were doing your outline, you can kind of tap some in. Remember, it doesn't have to be a perfect outline. We're just kind of having fun with it. Um, but the one place I also want to add is just a little bit of color around the tail. So only you only have you don't really have to, but you can add it around the outside if you lost some of it. Remember, it doesn't have to be straight. This is kind of a fun wonky painting. The only place I think you really should definitely add is around the tail. And then if you want to, before we move on to another step, feel free to add kind of just some fun little hints of color here and there if you want to, like on the bunny somewhere. With a painting like this, there's totally no rules and you can just have fun with it. Next with my round brush, I'm going to get some of this green and I really just want to change it. So I'm going to add a little white. And this is going to be kind of a highlighted color. And so in the areas of my grass, I'm just going to pull up some blades of grass. Again, not worrying about being perfect.
right, so add another layer of grass in there. I'm gonna get some yellow, just changing up these grass colors. So now I've got a really bright yellow green. Just gonna pull a few blades of grass in there with this. Grass is all about the layers, so. And as a fun little peek, and this is not something um, that was done on the original, I'm gonna add just a few little blades of grass in the color of the background, just for fun. So on my purple side, I'm just gonna pull, pull, pull a few purple. In the pink, I'm just gonna pull a few pink. Now these colors don't all mix well with green, so I'm not doing a ton of mixing. It's just a couple strokes here and there. back to the first green that I use that background green maybe mix a little yellow in there but I'm um, gonna go back to the darker color and just kind of fill in a few grass blades here and there And I'm just going to kind of come across the bottom, make sure some of that color is filled in. And that is it, my friends. That is bunnies. The last thing I encourage you to do is sign your painting and add any finishing touches that you might like. And then as always, I would love to encourage you to share with me. You can do that a lot of different ways. The first way is by tagging me on social media. You can use at paint, rinse, repeat or hashtag paint, rinse, repeat on the socials and I'll see your post. I love it when people share with me. 
The second way you can share your work, and um, this is totally free, you can join my Facebook group. The address is here on the screen. You would just type that into the address bar. It is facebook.com slash groups slash paint, rinse, repeat, and everybody in there will be able to see it, and we would love to cheer you on. So feel free to join that group and share your work. You can share anything that you create with me as well as your originals in there. And then I would love to give a shout out to my supporters. Uh, for only $9.99, you can be a supporter. Um, it's all run through Facebook. You get um, access to all of my lessons that I do each month, plus a special supporter bonus. Information can be found on my Facebook page here. But thank you so much for joining me, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this super cute bunny bums lesson. And I'll see you next time. Stay creative.